y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. Today, we're gonna make crunchy cornbread out of our volume one cookbook. Chris taught me a trick how to make it crunchy without having to preheat the skillet. I want you guys to try it. Okay, we're gonna make crunchy cornbread out of our first volume cookbook. The first thing we're gonna do is take six tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. While we're doing that, we can take our skillet, make sure your oven's on preheat, 425 degrees, take your shortening, and grease your skillet. Make sure you grease it plenty, because that's part of the thing that's going to make it crunchy. Our oven is preheated. is melted. It only took it 30 seconds because it was almost at room temperature. Okay, after you get your skillet greased, you're going to take a little bit of your cornmeal and you're just going to sprinkle it around in the skillet. And that's what's going to make your cornbread more crunchy. Now this is cornmeal mix. We buy white lily buttermilk cornmeal mix. Okay. I'm going to set that right there. We're going to start with our bowl. The first thing we're going to do is it says we're going to have one and one half cups of whole buttermilk. So I'm going to add that to my, actually this is a one cup, so we'll have to do it twice. And we get two cups of cornmeal. This is a half cup scooper. These are the nicest things ever, especially if you have a KitchenAid mixer. So if you want to order one, you can go to our website at www.colorvalleycooks.com, click on Kitchen Links. You actually buy it through Amazon, and that way we get an associate uh, fee for it, which helps us with our cooking show, and I sure would appreciate you guys shopping through Amazon. I'm sure. Okay, we've got four one-half scoops of cornmeal mix, and that is two cups. We're going to go ahead and add a cup of buttermilk to this. And we like to use whole buttermilk. It makes it more savory and rich. It, my, my recipe calls for one and one half cups, which is a lot, actually. So I don't know that I'm gonna put the whole one and one half cups in here. All right, that's about one and a half cups. You see about what consistency that is? So if you have a different type of buttermilk, like not whole buttermilk, it's not gonna take as much probably. So keep that in mind. You need to add one egg. And now Chris likes to put in a tablespoon of sugar. So we're gonna do that next. This is his little sugar dish. We'll see if it's got a tablespoon in it. Yeah. Tablespoon of sugar. Now, when I was growing up, we did not use a tablespoon of sugar in our cornmeal, but Chris likes it, so we we use it here. That extra butter, it's got a little extra butter in it. Instead of using oil, we use butter, and we actually use a couple of tablespoons more of butter than what the typical recipe is on the bag. So just remember that, too. We're going to pour this in our iron skillet, and I usually just use a... A big spoon to mix it up, y'all. Let's get this in the oven at 425 degrees. We're going to bake it until it's nice and brown, y'all. I'm going to set that timer for 35 minutes, and we'll see how it looks in 35 minutes. See you in a minute. Okay, y'all, you cook this cornbread five minutes longer than I said to start with. We're going to get it out of this oven and flip it out on our plate. Now, if you don't want your cornbread that brown, that's how we like it, then cook it the same amount that I told you to to start with. 
I'm gonna cut this and let y'all see that it's crunchy. Me and Chris are actually gonna eat it for lunch. We're gonna have cornbread and milk and I'm gonna have a tomato out of the garden. Now remember, this is still hot. I think I'll butter a piece for y'all. The good thing about using shortening and sprinkling it with the cornmeal mix is that it it greases the pan really well and it always comes out of the pan really nice. I have found that when you preheat the skillet and you put oil in it and you put your cornbread in there, sometimes it wants to cling to the bottom, but that never happens when you do it this way. I'll let that big fat piece be right there and then I'll put a smaller one in the front. Yummy cornbread. Now the best way to eat cornbread is with cornbread and milk in the summertime. So we're gonna get out our milk. And now you can use buttermilk. My grandparents always liked it with buttermilk, but I put buttermilk in the cornbread so it's pretty savory already. But um, we always, I like a slice of tomato in mine this time of year when you're getting a tomato out of the garden. And a lot of people eat a green onion with it. And if they don't have a green onion, then they'll just slice an onion slice and eat with their cornbread. We'll just get a hunk of cornbread, put it in our bowl. Oh, it's hot. So we've got some onion. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Now mom and daddy never salt and pepper theirs, but I have, I really like it with salt and pepper, y'all. Pour in our milk. I'm gonna put my tomato in here, y'all. Give me a spoon. Now this is gonna be a good lunch. So I hope um, you've enjoyed watching cornbread and milk. How to make crunchy, delicious, savory. Southern cornbread. Yummy. Y'all have a blessed day. And thanks for watching. Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.